Provenges. In this time of microservices, maintaining each of them and keeping an eye on all the resources is the most difficult job. Suppose you visited your web page and it is not responding. Then you will check your front-end services. You might find that the issue is coming from backend, and then you will check the backend services, and then you will realize that it is going via the login services and the database is not responding. And this is where the problem lies. But you have to spend a lot of time to track this. Prometheus will help you here. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source monitoring system that collects metrics from a variety of sources, stores them in a time series database, and exposes them through RESTful API. It is a popular choice for monitoring microservices and containerized applications. Prometheus allows you to expose important metrics from the resources, collects the data, and store it in a time series based database. It can also send alert and notifications based on the configuration. It is created using Go language and currently maintained by CNCF. Now let's discuss about the system architecture of Prometheus. First comes the server. Prometheus server is the central component of the architecture. It collects the metrics and stores them in a time series based database. Server uses a push gateway for the short-lived jobs. Since these kinds of jobs does not exist for long enough to be scraped, they can instead push the metrics to the push gateway. And then the push gateway exposes these metrics to Prometheus. Targets. These are the services or machines which you want to monitor. Prometheus offers some client libraries which can be used to add your code for monitoring the services. But in case where client libraries are not feasible for exposing the Prometheus endpoints, exporters are used. For example, HA proxy and Linux system. You can use Prometheus configuration formula to define the targets to be monitored or for dynamic targets, you can use service discovery. Service discovery in Prometheus is the process of finding and registering the endpoints of targets that Prometheus should scrape. Service discovery is needed because Prometheus cannot know about all the targets that it should scrape by itself. This is because targets can be dynamically created or destroyed and they can be located in different places. There are a number of different service discovery mechanisms that can be used with Prometheus, including Kubernetes service discovery. Kubernetes provides a service discovery mechanism that can be used to find the endpoints of Kubernetes services. Console service discovery. Console is a service discovery system that can be used to find the endpoints of any service. ETCD service discovery. ETCD is a distributed key value store that can be used to store endpoints of services. File-based service discovery. Prometheus can also be configured to use a file-based service discovery mechanism. This allows you to manually specify the endpoints of target. If you want me to go in detail in any of these topics, let me know in the comment section. Now, how does service discovery work? The specific step involved in service discovery vary depending on the service discovery mechanism that can be used. However, the general process is as follows. The target re-registers itself in, with the service discovery system. The service discovery system stores the information about the target. Prometheus queries the service discovery to find the endpoints of the target. And then Prometheus scrapes the metrics from the targets. After getting the metrics, it is being stored in the time series database. It is a database that stores data as a series of measurement over time. This database is custom, highly efficient format that is designed to store and query time series data. It is designed to be scalable and you can store large amount of data without performance degradation. The data will be stored in the disk of the node. Now you just don't want to store the metrics, you want to use it. Here comes the alert manager. Alert Manager is a Prometheus plugin that can be used to send alerts to a variety of destinations such as pager duty, email or other notifications like Slack or something. It has several key features which is deduplication. Alert Manager removes the duplicates so that you don't get spam. This is done by grouping alerts that are identical and sending only one alert for each group. Grouping Alert Manager groups alerts that are related to each other. This is done by grouping alerts that have same labels. Alert manager routes alerts to the correct receiver integration. This is done by matching the alerts to the receiver integration that are configured in alert manager. Silencing. 
Alert Manager allows you to silence alerts. This is useful for suppressing alerts that are not important or that you are already aware of. Inhibition. Alert Manager allows you to inhibit alerts. This is useful for preventing alerts from being sent when they are caused by other alerts. To create an alert rule in Prometheus, you need to specify the following. First is the metrics which you want to monitor. Then you want the operator, the comparison operator that you want to use. Then you want to mention the threshold, the value that the metric must cross in order to trigger an alert. And then the duration, the amount of time that the metric must exceed the threshold for in order to trigger an alert. Once you have defined an alert rule, Prometheus will continuously monitor and send an alert if the metric exceeds the threshold for the specified duration. Besides alert manager, you can also use PromQL, which is a query language to access time series based database. You can also use in Grafana, which is a dashboarding and visualization tool. It can be used to visualize data collected by Prometheus. And you can also use other API clients to access the data. Let's see more about PromQL. It stands for Prometheus Query Language. It is used to select, aggregate, and filter time series database. The result of the expression can be either shown as graph viewed as tabular data in Prometheus expression browser, or it can be consumed by external system via HTTP API. A few of the examples are HTTP request total. So this will return all the time series with the metric name HTTP request total. And then you can filter out the results using the labels. You can also take a range of time for the last five minutes or so. You can filter it using the regular expression as well. And in this example, it will return the rate of HTTP request total metric for the past 30 minutes with a resolution of one minute. So this is the complete architecture of Prometheus. Now you know how Prometheus works and how you can leverage it in your own system to collect the metrics and to send alerts in the required channel. If you have learned something new, please press the like button. Thank you.